General advice warning. This information is of a general nature only and does not take into account your objectives, financial situation or needs. You should consider the product disclosure statement issued by Plantation Capital Limited in deciding whether to acquire an interest in the Passive Income USA Commercial Property Fund. Past performance is not a guarantee of future performance. No earnings estimates are made. Part 6. What are the fees and costs? Now remember, this is a managed investment scheme and so therefore there is a certain cost associated with making the opportunity available to you and for having expert management run it on your behalf. The first fee is a once-off fee called a contribution fee. And the way a contribution fee works is that it is charged directly to your account and the rate is 3.96%. It is paid every time you make another contribution. So the first time you make a contribution and every time you make a contribution thereafter, except if you choose or elect to have your distributions reinvested, there is no contribution fee on those reinvested distributions. Now you are able to save 50% of the contribution fee. And the way to do that is to make sure that you send in your application money before we've raised the minimum $20 million. It's an incentive that has been uh, made, of, made available to you to encourage you to put your money in sooner rather than later so that we can get the $20 million as soon as possible and start investing. The second type of fee that exists is a management fee. And this is the cost of having expert management find, manage, and uh, also oversee the portfolio. The fee is 1.98% per annum of the gross, fund, the gross fund assets. And it is charged monthly and payable by the fund. So this isn't payable by you directly. What happens is it's payable by the fund and therefore uh, reduces the distribution that is available to you if you like. The third type of fees are cost recoveries. These are running costs, things that are, are paid for on behalf of the fund that get reimbursed, audit fees, custodian fees, etc, etc. There are also expense recoveries associated with making this available, uh, this opportunity available in the first place. Then we have any other fees that we are charged or incur in relation to the acquisition, sale, leasing or financing of investments. We then have a performance fee, which is an incentive for us to try and get a great return uh, for unit holders. And the benchmark rate is 12%. So if we get 12% or under, we don't pay ourselves any bonus. This is net of fees, by the way. But if we are able to achieve more than a 12% return, then for extra every extra 1% above 12%, we can pay ourselves a bonus of 40000 and that's assuming that there is the, uh, the $20 million of gross assets. The more funds under management, uh, the higher the bonus will be. So a session conclusion about the fees and charges. First of all, it's reasonable to expect that you'll pay something to have experts make this opportunity available to you and for you and for them to manage the fund on your behalf. And those fees are a contribution fee, which is a once-off fee paid every time you contribute money either initially or as a top up, but not on distributions reinvested for you. And if you are amongst the first $20 million of funds raised, you can consciously reduce that by 50%. Secondly, there are management fees, which are paid monthly in arrears, charged to the fund, uh, and that is for overseeing and managing the investment. There are certain cost recoveries, both in first of all setting up the fund and then any expenses incurred thereafter, which will be charged back to the fund. And finally, there's a performance fee as an incentive for management to try and get even higher returns, the benchmark being 12% and a bonus payable on whatever can be achieved above 12%. If you have any questions or you have uh, issues that you'd like further help with, please get in touch with me. You can call me in the office on double eight nine two three eight zero zero Melbourne O three or email me at Steve at property investing dot com.